He spit on us. And I screamed out, I'm Then I turned and the spit ricocheted off him and it hit me. That's right, friends. It's your main man Z, and we have a controversy here for you. Back and to the left. Back and to the left. Who spit on who? I don't know. We don't normally cover this crazy celebrity nonsense. Uh, but we're going to talk a little bit about whether or not Harry Styles, the singer, spit on Chris Pine, the actor. You may know him as James T. Kirk in the J.J. Abrams reboot of Star Trek. Uh, yeah, this is a wild one, folks. So we're going to get into it a little bit. We talked about it in a previous episode, but apparently there's this new film that has a lot of hype, negative hype, not sure. Uh, before we move forward, just want to remind you, if we earned it today, perhaps you would care to like, subscribe. Subscribing greatly helps this channel. We're doing great things, and we want to incorporate you into it. So uh, come along for the ride. We're going to have a good one. So let's get talking about don't worry, darling. That's right. That is the new movie <coughs> by uh, some people. Olivia Wilde, the director. And what's kind of fascinating is that this, is, it's not doing so well, but there's a lot of like hype. It just released a con film festival. There's a lot of people talking about it. There's a whole lot of Twitter nonsense about it. I'm not on Twitter, but I have heard from reliable sources um, but what they're saying, it, we don't really know what it's about, but there's a lot of controversies. Uh, despite an intriguing array of talent on either side of the camera, Don't Worry Darling is mostly a muddled rehash of overly familiar themes. For those of you who aren't aware, I think it's about some people who move into this community uh, that has this uh, maniacal leader. He's a Jordan Peterson-esque character. For those of you who know, don't, don't know who Jordan Peterson is, he is a... Uh, like a public speaker, used to be a uh, you know, former tenured professor of the University of Toronto, if I remember correctly. Likes to talk about a bunch of things, and apparently Olivia Wilde doesn't like the man. But what a lot of people, the bigger controversy kind of stemmed, it's such a long story, but basically Shia LaBeouf was supposed to star in this with Florence Pugh. You may know her from such films as Black Widow and Midsommar. Anyway, she's in these movies, Shia LaBeouf bows out of it. Olivia Wilde claims that she was trying to protect her team from the menace that is Shia LaBeouf. Shia, Bla uh, Shia LaBeouf calls lies on her, releases a bunch of text messages, releases a, a video that proves that she was lying. On top of all this, Olivia Wilde, who you may know from such things as House and some other random things that she directed, uh... She is also was also married to Jason Sudeikis, another celebrity type person. Uh, most people are kind of familiar with that guy. I think he's in that soccer show, which I cannot remember. If you remember it, tell me down in the comments below because I do not remember. Um, anyway, they replace Shia LaBeouf with Harry Styles. And here's where some of it gets real weird. <laughs> CNN is claiming that Harry Styles and Chris Pine are just fine, just fine. Nothing to see here, folks. Let's just move on. Can you imagine the stars of this film? Gemma Chan, Chris Pine, Harry Styles, directed by Olivia Wilde, starring Florence Pugh. A lot of people would be like, oh, this is a great movie, this is a great thing. A lot of people like this, this is good stuff. Well, we saw with Rotten Crit. This is what the critics say. It's 42%. Can you imagine what the fans are going to say? They're going to say, this is crap. From what I've read in interviews, uh, and I've heard verbal responses from this Harry Styles kid, he can't act at all. He says, in fact, he doesn't know what he's doing. Well, here is the video footage. We will take a frame-by-frame -frame look, folks. Let's just, let's just get an idea here. What's going on? because I think it's about to shock you and I both. And uh, we have no volume on this, but we will play it. This is uh, very highly controversial. <laughs> I don't even understand what's going on here, folks. All right, come on, play this. See, some people are saying that they see the spit coming out of his mouth. Other people are saying they see nothing, which is very strange. Uh, what do they, remove this video? 
You're killing me, Twitter. You're killing me. Well, we'll see if we can find some video footage of this. I don't know <clears throat> exactly where it went. But what we can also talk about is how um, Florence Pugh hates, apparently, Olivia Wilde, the director, because she was allegedly fooling around with Harry Styles while she was still married to Jason Sudeikis. So she showed up late to the Cannes Film Festival, apparently not super interested in promoting it, when they got a standing ovation from Hollywood. Uh, the t director and uh, Florence Pugh would not make eye contact. How terrible, terrible. Oh, here we go. We're going to get it now, folks. Are you ready? Here it is. So Chris Pine sitting down. Harry Styles is about to walk up. Here it is. He's clapping, clapping, clapping. Lip. There was a little lip service there, and then all of a sudden, he stops, stops clapping, and he looks real unhappy. We just got to see it again. He's chewing gum. He's chewing gum. He's clapping, right? There you see it, and then he looks down at his hands and or his, his shirt or whatever. He's like, "What is going on here? Did someone just spit gum on me? What are you doing there, brah?" And he stops clapping, and he has this look on his face like. You mother effer. And he won't even look at the dude. He's just laughing like, did this mother effer just spit on me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> he looks down like someone just spit something on him. And the dude, maybe it was an accident. Look, he's he's spitting directly on him. Uh, Chris Pine, being ever the professional, his, his people released a statement and said, no. Um... Look at that clap. And then looking down at himself like, what did you do, man? You just spit on me. And then he won't even look at the dude. She's looking uncomfortably at her boyfriend going, did you just spit on that man? Did you? <laughs> I don't think there's any denying it, right? Uh, but Chris Pine has been strange this entire promotional tour for this. Fans seem to be claiming that uh, Chris Pine is astral projecting out of his body when they went to the Venice Film Festival. He won't even, he'll barely acknowledge anyone talking about this. It's kind of wild, so we'll check this out too. <laughs> Here's more. 16.8 million views. And he's just sitting here. Here's the interview. Hold on. This is other people talking about it. Here, let's see what he has to say. Oh. Feels like a real life. This you is know, my favorite thing. This is how the movie is. stupid uh, Harry Styles is. Just by the way, you know my favorite thing about the movie is like it feels like a like a movie. It feels like a real like you know go to the theater film movie. But you know you, you kind of the reason why you go to watch something on a big screen. I, I think. <laughs> Chris Pine is like the reason he's listening to this this dope say the reason why my favorite thing about the movie is that it feels like a movie he must be like oh my god I can't take this uh, <laughs> and then here's even him at another panel where he's just he's out he's not interested he's just not uh, it's real crazy apparently there's a whole uh, the, the continuing beef between Oli uh, Olivia Wilde and Florence Pugh they review or they refer to Florence uh, Pugh as Miss Flo. Like there's some sort of insultingness. Here's the spit take again. Very strange. Very strange. Again, he, he has declined. He says, no, I was not spit on. Clearly, my man, we have the evidence. We know what happened. And it didn't ricochet off Olivia Wilde. It just, it hit you. Bam! He looks down right in his lap and goes, What was that, mother? <laughs> mother effer? So that's the story. I'm sticking to it. What do you think? Do you think he spit on him? Would you take that sitting down? Or would you throttle that man? Was it an accident? Was it intentional? <laughs> Did it ricochet off someone? I don't know. Either way, uh, check out our full-length audio podcast. You can catch that. Uh, any place that has a podcast, Spotify, Stitcher, iTunes, all those great places and more. You can also come hang out with us Friday nights at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where we live stream. 
live on YouTube. Also, Rumble and all those other great places. Catch some of our fantastic shorts as we do reviews. But as for myself, I am on to the next one. Thank you.